We're live. You know, I learned something recently. Have you heard of the millennial pause? What is that? So you know that like second or two at the beginning of a video while you're waiting to make sure the technology works? Yeah, apparently the younger generation don't do that. They hit the button and just immediately trust that it's going. And that ain't us. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure I see that counter go up. I want to make sure that I see it says record when I'm That's recording. Right. We are old and crappy. Ladies and gentlemen. Just like the computer we're going to work on today. <clears throat> Welcome to another Canadian Computer Collector live video. The reason we're doing another live uh, presentation this week is because we have, we're hoping to be finished the video uh, of our dad's PC build, but there's still one last piece that is not finished on there, and so we Two didn't pieces. want to release it until that was all taken care of, but we have lots of stuff to do today. Last week, we were working on the Austin Powers PC, or as we're calling it, the $50 gaming machine, or as now we're going to start calling it, the Steam OS PC. Uh, I think got, I'm going to call it the Austin Powers PC. I well, I do like that. We should we throw should, a big rubber hippie daisy on the side. we, we got to get like a vinyl decal of Austin Powers from Redbubble or something. Well, the thing is that, okay, so the reason why we're delayed on our dad's uh, small form factor gaming PC build is with those two side panels that are cracked, right? And so for anybody who doesn't know, um, the Millennium Library here in Winnipeg has a bunch of really cool stuff like a cray cut like you could make your own custom vinyl stuff and i thought it'd be really cool to do that but then in typical winnipeg fashion somebody got uh, the old winnipeg handshake there in the library and it's been closed ever since um with limited reopening that's happened as they put new security measures in place and so, unfortunately for everybody, uh, we have to find another solution to these side panels because at this point we can't wait any longer. But, because we didn't finish the Austin Powers PC last time, um, I've got some cables here. Uh, got the that janky Molex to 6 pin that I was talking about. <laughs> I've got a, uh, looks like I think if this is an 8 pin to 2 6 pin connectors. Um, and something else really cool that I wasn't expecting to have is I think uh, we can announce this. Yeah, so what we'd like to do uh, is going forward, you know, we're going to have to announce this a few more times because I'm not sure we have much action going on right now. But we're going to give away this really awesome Brawler 64 wireless gamepad controller. So friggin' cool. Yeah, so the story behind this is actually really cool. So uh, I love Retro Fighters specifically for the Retro Brawler. With GoldenEye being released recently, I wanted to get the wireless Bluetooth N64 controller for the Switch. And I did, and it was awesome. Before that came out, they had this one. It was the wireless USB controller. And I bought one of those, and I was going to use the two of them together. But the wireless USB one that I had ordered, the joystick came kind of funky. Like, I held the joystick up, and it would get stuck there. And I had less than an hour of use on it. Like, I couldn't have broken it myself. They were very kind... I told them what happened. They said they would send me a replacement. Uh, they unfortunately sent me the one that has the N64 adapter. So this is for reuse with original hardware. Like the, it has a dongle you put on your Nintendo 64. But I needed the USB one. So this is essentially a wireless N64 custom controller that works with an original N64. Yes, and it's got the form factor that for people with two hands. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. And I am just going to eat this uh, and pick up another one because it was totally my fault. I requested the replacement. I didn't tell them wireless USB. I just said wireless. This is the one that's wireless. It's not the wireless USB version. That's on me. That's fine. So um, they've got the next one coming in the mail and we're going to give away this one. We will determine how to enter and a contest uh, like drawing date in the future because yeah. this just came about last night. We just had all this discovered. We sorted everything out with uh, retro fighters who have been fantastic. They've been super helpful. Great customer service. Really responsive too. And for like a small company. Uh, really impressed. I'm actually even lo looking at their other stuff. I might pick up a GameCube controller to play Smash with, um, like a wireless one. Mm -hmm. So, if you like Nintendo 64, uh, stick around for Canadian Computer Collector, get subscribed to the channel, and we will make an announcement this week with contest entry details. Perfect! And, uh, actually, while you're doing that, I'm just going to quickly check to see if they have responded. So the plan for today is to finish up our SteamOS PC, which is the one we were working on last week, the $50 gaming machine. 
We've got uh, an RX 480 that we're going to put in it. We tried putting it in last week, but we didn't have the right adapter for the uh, power in to the graphics card. So we're going to do that today. Throw SteamOS on there and just get it ready for the video. Because we're going to make a video uh, about that machine um, in the near future. Yep. And then while we're installing SteamOS and all that, we've got some hardware here for the XP build. Which Once again, I'll quickly grab it. Yeah, and while he's doing that, shout out to uh, D. Ross, also who joined us for our GoldenEye gaming session yesterday. Bop, bop, bop. We'll be going in this case, Ooh, the yeah. Antec or Chief Tech Dragon. That's the XP. I love the blue, like with the blue acrylic shroud fan that's in the side. Bring back side panel fans. Yes. You know what? One of the troubles with that case is that a lot of the stuff was uh, clip on and like pressure fit. But some of that stuff is missing in the case that I have. So, like, the fans are extra wide. And, like, there's all this stuff that's, like, unique to that case that I'm going to have to try and track down. Not looking forward to it. Anyway, let's yeah, get anyway. started on our first build for the day. Or, I guess, our first project. So, if Stack, you could move the keyboard and mouse. Just out of the way there. Indeed. Also, for anybody wondering, um, the like Canadian Computer Collector background PC or iMac here uh, kind of died unexpectedly today. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't turn on. So uh, we have put the Northern Lights. <laughs> for some reason, when I hit the power button, the drive made a noise, but the uh, computer didn't actually turn on. And it sounded like it was kind of trying a couple times. Though. Yeah, it kept. Well, it kept over and over making that. Bring, bring, like, but like, no, uh, no time. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe, maybe it's uh, power supply is dead because nothing is happening. All right, here we go. Okay, that panel off. Should we add our secondary camera? Let's do it. Whoop. Okay, pass me the the droid camera. And then, if you can add it to the stream at the bottom left there. Indeed. Let's go. Tuck that sucker in like this. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, baby! Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to grab the GPU? Right. Uh, it's not in, is it? It's in the box, sir. Oh, the box, which is underneath. In la boîte. As they would say in the French marketplace. So, originally this computer, if you weren't with us last week, came with a very cheap version of a 5770 1GB card. It may, might not have been a cheap version, just an old version. And the fan had more resistance than, like, many things that aren't supposed to move. Yeah. So, what we're putting in here is a significant upgrade. It's also significantly larger. I'm hoping that our power supply is adequate for this. And uh, I think we're just going to YOLO it. Yeah, what do we have in here? A 450? <clears throat> mm, I'm going to say 460 or 430. Oh, that's scary. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's a 460. Okay, look at the size of this beast. Red Devil's a good brand from what I hear, too. Okay. Got a great deal on this. 120 Canadian dollars for an RX 480. I'm going to slip it under. This SATA cable in a way that does not insult it. All right, let's go. Also need. Oh, this might cause us some trouble. Okay. No. The fact that that SATA port is. Do you have a longer SATA cable? <clears throat> I actually might have. I mean, the other side of it is. Over there. Let me just check out. Here. here we go. Here we go. Is that a hard drive? What? What that SATA cable is plugged into? Uh, Let's get a top down yeah, view. Yeah, looks like it. I think that's the one terabyte that we put in here. Right. Out of the Mac Pro. Or no, the Power Mac. Yes, indeed. I'm trying to figure out what our angles are. Oh, we have this. Hit thing. the like button, nerd, says Retro Techie. Is Woo! this a PCB sponsored PCBA. stream? Unfortunately, it is not. No, uh, um, it's not even sponsored by Retro Fighters. Uh, I would say this stream is sponsored by the goodwill of mankind. If only the aim of man had been true that day, <laughs> and hit the like button. Okay. Uh, you know that line from the Hobbit? I like the Hobbit movies. I just I one? say it all the time. If only the aim of man had been true that day. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. I think this thing is now useless, so we'll pull it off. Boop! And then reach this SATA cable deep down underneath. I don't know how you're going to do that, actually. We'll try with tight fingies. Sorry. If you can see what he's trying to get at. I may have to pull that card At the here. end of the upgrade, can you fight to the death to see which brother takes over the channel from now on? Uh, I mean, given our current states of health, I don't even think we need to fight. We can just <laughs> wait each other out. Let's see. No, that's not... What fails first? My, like, musculature and tendons or Dan's gastrointestinal tract? <laughs> um, I... in. Okay, we got and that is in. There we go. And nothing is I actually kind of anything. I, I kind of love having that thing taped to the bottom. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, now we need an 8 pin. Okay, so that would be the one I'd like to try first. I don't want to go the janky Molex route well, because are, like that's a 6. Oh right. Yeah, well, anyway, look at these uh, you know Molex pins, they never like they never line up right. You always have to, like, take the one that's the most out first and kind of, like, slot it in. Now, do we plug both of these in? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, almost thus. Blue cables make it a real gaming PC. That's right. See, so, yeah, that's how I feel about red cables, but I know that red cables... Uh, All right, so we've got our graphics card plugged in now. Yeah, and our eight gigabyte Red Devil RX four eighty, and I think we can give this a test now. Yeah, so we need let's a display. bust out the monitor. Let's put some of this crap away. It's not crap. I was literally about to say that in that voice. It says punchline scramble, like when you're hanging out with comedians. So if we're taking a look around here, we've got the SSD, uh, like taped to the bottom. We have. Our Red Devil RX 480, uh, i7 2600K with stock cooler. Got a one terabyte, three and a half inch uh, HDD out of a uh, Power Mac G5 liquid cooled. Uh, 460 watt generic Dell XPS power supply. Uh, and a bunch of generic Dell crap. But one thing I do like about this is the, the top IO. Which I think is actually quite nice. Um, very handy. And also, this thing has like card readers and stuff, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, we got that one USB 3 port on the front uh, where you would put a, fl a floppy disk drive. And a matching one on the back. Yeah, where clearly they had uh, not bothered to redesign the case. This, please. And then we have an empty drive bay and another oh, empty me. drive bay. A converter. For what? to test this graphics card on this monitor, or we'll have to use this monitor. Is only HDMI? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any <laughs> HDMI to anything else cables? Let me have a look. I might, actually. Okay. I guess I could probably put this down, but... What's in the old cable bin? It's a very large HDMI. Here's HDMI to, unfortunately, uh, not what we're looking for. Really? DVI? I don't think. Yeah, you got DVI in here. Oh, I do? Okay. Yeah, plug that, uh... Okay. Perfect. Run, run, run. Run, run, run away. And run, run. So, how's everyone's day so far? What's up, Retro Techie? How's the weather out there? See, instead of zip ties, you should use twist ties. Yeah. Twist ties. You know you can buy like a coil of twist tie cable that you just like cut every time you need a little bit of it? I have uh, a bin of zip ties that were a dollar at Dollarama back in the day. Yeah. Okay. And it's Jimmy into the Becky. Yeah, be, be, be. Alright. 
Blue Rigger. And then did you... Nope, I'm going to plug power in too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's French for 5U. Winter so garbage. Yeah, Retro Techie, I agree. It is cold AF here in Winnipeg today. Minus 25 this morning in Celsius. But as you approach minus 40, it all becomes the same. It's all the same pain. <laughs> Is this a giveaway for those watching the stream? Um, not today. Uh, we don't really have contest details or anything in place. We just wanted to announce that we're going to be well, announcing... This is giveaway PC for those watching. Oh, is this a giveaway stream? PC? This is no. Retro Techie's regular game. He likes the, to get the, the PC in question or the uh, computer we're working on mm -hmm. as a gift. <laughs> uh, I am not rich enough to do that yet. Let's hit power there and power here. There will be, there will come a time someday in the future when we can afford to give away. Oh, we uh, don't have power plugged into this. Is there another power cord over there? Uh, almost certainly. Um, can you just hold this camera? Yep. I'm not really sure what I, I was doing Focus there. a little bit. Woo! Woo! Alright, let's go. Beauty. What happened to your gaming laptop you repaired? The gaming laptop I repaired is uh, my regular yeah, daily driver laptop. I use that thing every day to there play video games and edit videos. Do we have life? I... Indeed, we do. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I think Stack's laming, or uh, his laming, his gaming laptop is uh, working totally fine. Yeah, the only problem that I have is I have a little bit of light bleed at the bottom of the screen, and my uh, webcam doesn't quite line up, but that's because mm. the, uh, the the new laptop lid I bought was clearly a new iteration, and uh, there's no way to adjust it, right? The tolerances are very, very small. So it just, it is what it is, but it does look like this one is less likely to snap the attachments off of the back of the lid so i'm willing to accept that uh, i never used my laptop webcam anyway it was hot garbage <laughs> um so not that big a loss no display i don't think we're getting anything is there like an input oh maybe the display needs to be on well oh, i think it was yeah we're not getting anything uh, let's see. Source. No, I don't think so. Okay, um, I mean, let's try an HDMI monitor. Okay. Here, you know what I'll do? Computer running, I'll reach over and grab this one. <laughs> Who needs a good screen on a laptop anyway? The screen is fanta fantastic. It's just the um, the lid that it attaches to uh, is slightly Sorry, off. Sorry, folks. Crossing in front. It's actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's a 144 hertz display as well. Uh, it's only 1080p, but it's a laptop. Uh, don't love that. Wait, what are you plugged into? You're, you're plugged into the graphics card, right? Yeah. Okay. HDMI on the graphics card. Try plugging into the onboard. I mean, the graphics card is spinning, but... Hmm. Oh, the light just went green, I think. Uh-oh. No. Yeah, we're not getting anything here. Okay. Um, plug it back into the graphics card, and then let's just reboot it. See if it needs to detect, like, where the output is going first. Sure. Okay. There's another one. Uh, I also have an idea. Oh wait, we don't have uh, the SATA cable plugged into that hard drive, so my idea is no longer valid. Okay. <laughs> That's really weird. Okay, well, here's another thought. Uh, do you want to unplug over there and we'll try one of these? Sure. Mmm. You want to actually uh, maybe kill the second camera, if possible? Oh, you can just, here, set it down. We'll, uh, check here like that. Oops. Right meow. Sorry, everyone, we're just kind of getting comfortable here. There we 
we go. <laughs> Later, Retro Tech. Hello, Duncan. We're just having some trouble getting video out of this car here. All right, let's go. Any luck? Um. Nothing yet. Yeah, let's kill it and try a restart. Okay. So I make sure we've got everything connected correctly, right? Got the so. graphics card in yeah. here. Push down to the slot. It's getting power. Um, we've got. I wonder if it's enough there. power for the card to actually work. It's just spinning the fans. Well, I mean, you would think that it would like under load would be the issue, and we're not under load yet. Is there such a thing as like a power rating? Like, would it say in the manual? Uh, you could usually look it up. Uh, let me look it up. I mean, the next <laughs> the. <laughs> oh. Really hoping to get away without having to. Do you have a Do you have a graphics card that or uses less power? I have a one gig, yeah. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean it uses less power. Wasn't that a pretty beefy card too? Uh, it like a seventy. It's a ten thirty. Oh, a ten thirty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we wouldn't even want to use that at this point. <laughs> I think that's about as new as I have on hand, though. Okay, that's fine. Um, RX four eighty. PSU check one thing. It says four hundred and fifty power supply and we got four hundred and sixty. Okay, so let's uh, try some troubleshooting ideas. Okay, so I'm actually going to remove the graphics card. I think for the sake of elimination, we should try the one gig card in there. Well, I'm just going to pull the graphics card out full stop. Okay. And then see if the computer boots. And if it does, then that gives us a pretty good idea. Dragon says XP for extreme performance or now extreme predicament. Luckily, this is not quite the XP stuff yet, but we're going to get there. Oh. Well, that didn't... Yeah. Do you know how to release it? Well, I think it just snapped. Okay. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, I think I did that. Uh, I think I mean I know I did. You just gonna push the thing. There you go. What did you snap? The top of that off. <laughs> what? Well, this. Oh. oh, I think it's okay. Yeah, that's what I pushed on. All right, so. Okay, uh, plug the HDMI cable into the integrated graphics and let's go. There she blows. Try to keep this. There we go. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong. We wanted this one, right? Yeah. I'll have to try this graphics card in another computer as well. The guys seem pretty trustworthy and like it was working, but this I mean, is the fun and were... exciting part of testing PC junk. That sounds more promising. Keyboard failure. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it still boots the Windows. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I have an idea. Is there a keyboard plugged in? Uh, no. Uh, <clears throat> where's the little like mini keyboard? I'm going to try throwing AMD drivers on. Sure, yeah, I'm just going to try and... Uh, Where's the mini clavier? Hide from you, because you the fart that just happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mini keyboard. Here. Thank you. Um, the other thing, too, is we should test that PCI slot. Uh, 
Wow. I'm trying to breathe through my mouth over here. All oh, right, the keyboard might need to be on for it to work. Oh, this doesn't even output the HDMI. That's funny. It's mini HDMI. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is this the drive that was in your HP? Uh, yes. Well, it was one that I initially set up to put in there, and then it didn't okay. work. All right. Um, do you have an Ethernet cable or a Wi-Fi adapter we can use? Oh, I don't think this is a 1030. Or maybe it is. Um, that looks way too beefy to be a 1030. Best dude. Maybe it's older than that, seven something, nine something. It says wind force on it. What were you looking for? What do you want me to grab? Uh, we need internet connectivity. I got the internet going nuts. Yeah, I'm actually. Oh god, it's got that mini HDMI out. Yeah, that's what I mean. So was it? Uh, this is probably older than the seven series. If I had to guess. That originally came out of a. Um, like first or second gen i7 gaming machine. CH6715. I'm wondering if this is like a 4 or a 5 series. Is the internet this year? Okay. <clears throat> Anybody in the chat? Uh, right now, not much. We have one viewer. Okay. Quiet day for some reason. Uh, didn't we get raided last time? Oh, maybe that's why we started off good. Hmm. Um, okay, Radeon RX 480 drivers and support. Is the internet working? Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Good. Good old Windows 10. Dun, 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 Adrenaline dun. edition. I want adrenaline software. Oh, yeah. Well, if it had a 5770, wouldn't it already have had radio and stuff? AMD. Mm. Oh, no, we just... Oh, that would have been live. Yeah. yeah. NVM. Also, knowing NVMe. who I got this computer off of, I doubt it had ever had any sort of updates or drivers or anything that wasn't forced. Right. Oh, I was going for that longer cord. I think this is it. No, that is not it. I wonder. I wonder if we're not getting enough power. This is serial ATA, but it's not actually. Does this thing have Molex? That's that was the the question I was asking. Is like, do you think we're getting enough power? Well, I think the power supply has enough power. I think we need. I think this needs to go to another rail. What do you mean? Well, because look, it's all just off of the same cords. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to get power from another rail. What do you mean? And do you like, like no like power, power supply? Well, no, you know how power supplies have like different rails of power. I don't understand why this would output less though, because these would both have gone into the card anyway. But this, th but like this one like set of cords, like just might not have the total amount of power we need, so we might need oh, to I see what you're get it off of another rail of power and connect it to... I don't to. think we have... I don't think we do either. Yeah. Uh, unless... unless no do, you have a, do you have SATA to Molex? Uh, I don't think so. You know, I have a SATA to Molex deck you're just kicking around? I don't know. I really don't think so. Because um. that would be uh, the real jank way to do it. We SATA to Molex... Then Molex to six pin, then six pin to this other six pin. Uh, don't don't hot swap. For interest sake, though, that's gonna that's gonna work for uh, going over the graphics. I part. have another idea as well. Once this is installed, yeah. not as AMD graphics has not been detected. Yeah, no shit. We're trying to get a piece of crap. Okay, so I have another idea. Let's yeah. unplug extraneous uh, peripherals to see if maybe we can free up a little bit of juice. Okay, let's try that. Uh, so we'll take out that USB stuff from the PCI slot. Pop up that extra drive. The other thing that we might want to try as well is try connecting just a straight up blank SSD with nothing on it. Okay, this is out. Well, where's that thing getting power from? PCI. All right. 
Okay, uh, what else we got? Oh, our second camera just got annihilated there. Oh, I did just have a thought as well. <laughs> um, it is. I should look up what version of PCI Express this computer is on. Or it has active. That's probably not bad. Because what if it's what if the issue is that this card is too new, and it's like PCI Express whatever. But I mean, it well, should still work. Let's try that smaller one gigabyte GPU. Okay. Well, here, wait. We just disconnected power. Let's try your power theory first. Okay. So we'll chuck this back in briefly. And yeah, we've unplugged the hard drive as well. Mr. 480! Mr. Red Devil. Please work for me! There we go. You have the best card from AMD that we could afford on a limited budget. Alright. HDMI is in. And as Nate would say, budget. <laughs> How appropriate. Uh, yes. The yeah, guy who bought this computer off doesn't swear if anybody wants to. Good. You plug uh, any sort of connector into it. Hmm? You plug the display yep. into the card. Yeah. yeah. It's right here. Okay. Uh, that's not sounding promising. Your fans are spinning. Sadly, the next test we should Hold be on. doing. Hold on. Remember when we fucked up with the... Sorry. Remember when we screwed up with the laptop and we didn't let it sit long enough? Yeah. We had to restart it like three times. No, it or restarted it itself. Like... Why don't we let this thing for a, little, for a moment? Okay. Um, if you want to just monologue a little bit, I need to set up that shuttle thing for a moment. Yep. Okay. Ooh, ah. All right. So if this Red Devil card doesn't end up working, yeah, which I think is probably going to be the case, we're going to test out this little gigabyte, one gig video card. I don't know what this is technically. I thought it was a 1030, but I think what happened was the person uh, I got this from, which is the uh, in-laws, got themselves a uh, 1030 and uh, handed this one over. This, I think... Could be like a 960 or, you know, like one of these smaller, older cards. It came out of a Windows 7 gaming machine. So it was a one gigabyte graphics card in a machine with like a first gen i7 and like four gigs of RAM or something like that, you know. Um, so at the time it was probably pretty decent, but now she's uh, a little behind the times, but just probably perfect for this. I think what we did want, though, was more than one gigabyte of VRAM. <laughs> we have uh, the inspector here. Oh, look at that. And she's okay. Yeah, you want to... Uh, You're going to have to put a little... Oh, no. You yeah, sat she's, down. Uh, she is ready to be released. <laughs> what do you think, June? She says... Uh, oh, is... Okay, I think it's time to kill this test. Yeah. Hi, kitty cat. <laughs> and we'll see you later. All right, a little camera shy. Okay, so that did not do it. Okay, so it's Spanish for cheese. That's correct. It is. We'll pop this thing out. You know, if this card doesn't end up working in this build, uh, I'm definitely going to keep it and use the idea for a future build. Well, we should tr we should test it in a. Yeah, I'm going to test it. Machine. Well, I'm going to put it in my own computer at home. Yeah. And make sure it works. But All right. I don't think that we'll actually be able to get away with swapping the power supply in this computer, personally. Well, this is a 12-pin. This might be perfect. Oh, uh, if that's the case, we should plug in the power first. Yeah. Because that's going to be a pain once that's in. Chuck it in the butt. Chuck the power in the butt. In the dumper. In my dumper. Which nobody has any context for, and they're not going to get any. The Australians at home will enjoy it. Uh, uh, I think your clips are facing the wrong way. Are they? I don't know. You got the first one. Just this part goes. Oh. Yeah. The clamp. I don't think I have them in all the way. 
Huh? They don't look it. Yeah, they got it. I'm gonna hurt the plastic shield. It'll be fine. There we go. There we go. You know, even with a one gig graphics card, uh, then this will truly be a fifty dollar gaming computer. <laughs> Might actually be more compelling than the two hundred dollar gaming computer everybody seems to be putting together. Oh, I'll be really disappointed if that RX four eighty works and just not in this build, but I'll be really happy that it works. Yeah, I know what you mean. That would be balls. Yeah, whatever. Are we in? I think so. Hey, so this does not have HDMI, but it does have. DVI. Yes, indeed. Uh, so we've got DVI already plugged in, so here we go. Alright. Magic. Mm. Magic of TV. Magic of TV! Any luck? Yes. It's running. Keyboard failure. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, there's our answer right there. So it's either the card or the power source to the card. Hopefully, it's the power. I actually have a sneaking suspicion that it's the version of PCI Express. Oh, that it's too new? This yeah. One. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, and I also would not be surprised if Dell skimps in that area. Okay, so if uh, this is what we're working with, let's throw Steam OS on here and then start testing some other stuff. Indeed. Let this run in the background. Indeed. Oh, you know what I picked up recently that I deep at first I was like, "Is this a waste of money?" But now I'm actually quite happy with it. Is I bought a bunch. Of brand new anti-static bags. Some are big enough for motherboards, some are just the size for graphic cards and RAM and that. But I'm digging it. Now I can wrap all my hardware in beautiful anti-static bags. <laughs> okay, let's plug this monitor back in so we can see the chat while we're working. Yep, yeah, and while you're doing that. Should we move this PC off of the table? Um, let's see here. Oh, right. Did we unplug this? Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, it's fine. Just hang on. This seems like it's probably plugged in. You might want to shard it off and put that USB card back in. Uh, nah, it's fine. Well, I mean, we should, but before the end of the day, so we don't forget. Absolutely. But first. Do, 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 do. Mm. Oh, right. That's right. You got all the card readers on the front, too, which is neat. Um, I'm going to move the camera. <laughs> How's your phone's battery? Does it need to still be uh, tethered? Well, it'll run out eventually, but right now it doesn't. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. It's one thing out of our way. Get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. Here's a shot of our new GPS. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pop this second one off for a second here. Oh, you are playing with fire. Why is so hard drive connected? Oh, the plastic piece just rattled there. I think you did break part of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I know I did. <laughs> I absolutely broke that tab. Okay. Okay, and uh, pass me that Ethernet. You know, folks, the rule, right? If you uh, feel resistance on something, just force it. 
If you're not using brute force, sorry, if brute force isn't working, you're not using enough. That's the rule. Ah. Alrighty. Well, eventually we're going to need that monitor again, but if we get that Steam it install started. Uh, yeah. Okay, in the meantime, can you pass me that motherboard over there? Yeah, what's this out of? This looks neat. This is for the XP build. Yeah. Uh, this is an A8V Deluxe. Oh, yeah, right. I had one of those in my, um, in the first upgrade I ever did to my first gaming PC when I upgraded to 64-bit. It was awesome. I went from the A7N8XE to the A8V Deluxe. Uh, fire up the GPU parts cannon. <laughs> is it time for some dual power supply jankiness? You know what, Duncan? Um, on the one hand, yes, but on the other hand, uh, we actually were hoping to, like, have this computer into, I would say, uh, like, regular use. And so I don't think we want to go just the, like, make it work route. Yeah, we want to gotta, make it work properly. You gotta be decent. Okay, so what are we looking at right now? This is an Asus A8V Deluxe. This is the uh, Rev2 motherboard, um, the good one. Uh, this thing is going to be the heart of the, um, what are we calling it? The Windows XP, like 2005 ish LAN machine that I want to work on. Well, we want to do an XP LAN party. Yeah, that's the end goal. So we need a couple XP gaming rigs at least. So I picked up this this uh, motherboard. I picked up the cooler and a chip. I think right now it's an Athlon sixty four. What is this one? A three thousand. Um, we've got two gigs of RAM in here uh, with four sticks. You just can't really see it because of that angle. There it is. Uh, what else do we have? I think uh, right now I only have a 9600 XT. There's a couple things that aren't perfect about this that we're going to try and repair. Kind of like this little bit of plastic here, which on this blue tab has come loose. Whoops. There are also some bent pins. Like this board sat in a box of other boards for quite some time. So it's not the bell of the ball right now. But... It's going to be super cool by the time we're done with it. So this is going to go inside that Antec dragon case that I have. I've been buying a lot of yellow cables to work with this thing. <laughs> um, and I want to see if everything that I've gathered today, at least, uh, works. So that'll be the next thing. Once we get the CMOS install going, we're going to make some space and then uh, borrow that monitor and start testing. I have a few graphics cards, too, from this era. Oh my gosh, there's so much dirt in this. Watch this. This is the stuff that you tune in for, folks. Right here. Ready? These white slots. Look at that. These PCI I you, slots. I don't are, think you can just call people slots anymore. Look at the dirt coming out of here. Ugh. Properly is subjective. It is subjective. Um, in this case, I'm going to say properly in that... Uh, a, an average user who does not know what they're doing could fire up the computer and still have a good time. Can you not just like take like a compressed air thing, put the little plastic tip in there, and then just fire it out? Uh, probably. I don't have a Man. can with a plastic. Seventy-five tip, but... megabytes a second. Yeehaw! That is some good download speed. I tell you what. Oh, there's so much dirt in here. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah. You won't be plugging <laughs> anything in on this thing yet. Can't. Yeah. How about the others? Oh, they're not too bad. For some reason, it's this one that's really bad. Oh my gosh, just giant balls coming out here. Just pulling giant balls all day in this thing. Okay, we're gonna have to hit that with compressor. Yeah, but 
<laughs> Thank you, Duncan, for hanging in with us. It's nice and clean now. Um, all right, to test this chip, we're going to have to attach this cooler, which is going to need a little bit of a cleanup and some paste. And since we're going to do that for a video, paste. I'm going to try and film that. Wacky little camera holder here. Yabba dabba doo. So, Duncan, what are you working on right now? What's on the bench? called there because <laughs> I clamped the buttons. Uh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sadly I think it's gonna wobble a bit. Okay. If this is mostly clean but we're gonna give them each a quick wipe. So behind you there, Stace? Uh, yes, it is. Thank you. You're done. <clears throat> there you go. Check it. Check it. That's good. That's what I'm telling about. I don't get why it's like stopped right at the end. Get all the dirt off. Same here. Ooh. have to adjust some things. So this is a good shot. That is not. That's better. Okay. Uh, how do we feel about the, the cooler itself? I'm going to blow it out just real quick. Fair enough. Okey-dokey. Some real serious crap came out of that. Give it another wipe. You never wipe too much, guys. Remember that. Mine's from wiping too hard. All right, let's check in on the chat here. What do we got here? Duncan staring into the abyss. Dave says, same. <laughs> Mackie4, Steve says, what the hell? No YouTube notifications. Yeah, you know what's really weird, Steve? Like, we've had a very small audience today because... I don't know why. I mean, every once in a while, YouTube ignores what we're working on. 
And they're like, I don't know. What? Stack just got a phone call. You know how phone calls are. <laughs> Garth says, uh, hello, hello, Garth. Duncan, trying to work out how to photograph a the comet despite living in England, which, if you haven't, is permanently under a layer of yeah, thick cloud, yeah. Stack, I think we can still hear you. you got to go in the bedroom. I think our mom just called Stace. This might be a little generous here with how much I've put on, but I don't care. That's all good. They're all paste? Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Whatever he did, it was wrong. Certainly, we can rely on that knowledge. Garth, how you doing? Hide your shame, Dan. Hide your thermal base application. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dave got notification? Oh, that's good. Now, which side are we clipping this on? New simple uh, volume. I think over here. Because this has to come around. Yeah, you wouldn't want it on the other side. There we All go. Right. Fat 32, that's all. Sliding this bad girl in place. Keep cool, my babies. Conan O'Brien, anyone? Uh, absolutely love that. Back in the day. How does this little... Oh, I see. Yeah, it's doing the same thing. Like, I uh, go to download, then when it reaches, like, the very end, it's just sitting at, like, zero bytes a second or some shit. There we go. One yeah. side clipped on. Time to get the other side clipped on. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Okay. You know what? I think part of it is that I'm trying to do this on top of a hollow surface. So I'm going to move some of that. Get that dust out of here. And a little focus. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to grab the expert one, too, just to, for some reason why this uh, non-expert one is not working. What the heck? What's up? Does this go... I'm not sure which way is... Okay, so here's how these things go. Star. Or, like, which way is unlocked. So, I haven't clipped the other side down yet. Basically, like, I remember you put it down in one way and then it, like, comes back. Like, it's like you hook it underneath something and then come, and then it, it comes back. This is it. Because well, it also controls the thing on this side, right? Yeah, but what is the thing on that side even doing? Well, you see this little guy is rotating? Yeah. It's got to be something to do with it. But what's it even doing? Well, it's, I think it gets locked into here. I don't think so, because this is what I thought was locked. Okay. And then this is the other. Yeah. I think I, I think this is it, but let's just try. I gotta get it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know why it's just sitting here hanging on like the zero bytes. I'm going to go download it on your regular computer too, see if that works. Yeah, give it a try. <laughs> See you, Garth. Uh, just how hard this thing is. All right. There we go. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Over. There we go. Now it's snapped into place, and I think this... Uh, Duncan's heading out. Nice seeing you, Titans. Duncan. Or maybe it doesn't? Did I just install this thing properly? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know what this tool is supposed to do. Oh, does it feel tight? It's tight, but like... I mean, old hardware is also just a little janky in general. I don't want to break it. It feels like I'm going to break it. 
Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what's it even trying to do anyway? Oh, did this all mess up because I didn't bother installing Chrome and Edge is just like, no! Can't let you finish this. If you download any sort of EXE file, you're probably going to replace me. Are you sure you want to switch to Chrome or Firefox? Yeah, and it worked just fine, of course. I bet you it's some sort of, like, blocking uh, file types. Crap. What on earth is going on here? Oh, Garth just bought us five coffee. Thank you, Garth, for your supporting us and buying me a coffee. Garth. Garth Beagle. Yeah, buddy. Lids and gens. Okay. We may need to Google what this cooler is supposed to look like while it's in. I love Stop your just complete cooler. lack of available USB ports on your computer. Yeah. Um, you can pull those portables out and use that spot if you want. Well, I think this might be... Oh yeah, I think we're in the right spot. I just want to see it in a board. goodness okay that looks like it This is tough. And saying what? This one saying there is no disc, but there there absolutely is a disc. Okay, let's do this. Um okay, I feel like it should be up. I just I think I got it wrong, but I can't confirm that. Like there's no good pictures of them. Oh that one is. Yeah. Okay. Try this one more time. It's just like it's impossible. Windows cannot format the volume because the volume is offline. Okay. Call it fat thirty two. Turns, Turns the mechanism. Just trying to see how this rotation affects it. Okay, so Oh, I see. So it's like a cylinder that's had two edges planed flat and puts more pressure on it. So let's try it. We might not break it this time. I think I was worried we would. Is this an Athlon? Uh, it, it, it is, yeah, actually. The yeah. 8V Deluxe would be for like the 3200 plus. This is an series. Athlon 3000, 64-bit uh, chip. 3000 plus, Dan. 
So this should not break. Yes! <laughs> I was so friggin' scared. All right, that's really in there now, but it's proper. That's the most important part. Oh, and I didn't film any of that. So <laughs> okay, let's gently move that back and do it again, just because we're going to need this for a video. Okay. Oh, we don't want to flash, though. I hate it when it does that. Turn off, flash. There we go. Oh, there we go. And Garth, thanks again for donating to the show. Um. <sighs> okay, here we go. No, oh, no, the footage is full. Okay. <laughs> Quickly, must dump. Hey. How are you doing on that Steam OS? Um, I'm not going to be able to get it done today. Uh, we're having issues with uh, your computer recognizing the USB drive. Mm. Um, so I'm going to take the USB drive home to get uh, Steam OS on it. And uh, okay, well, and while also, you're still here, let's see if we can get through some of this XP hardware. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Garth, this is a custom board. Uh, I ended up doing a decent amount of reading on it one night, um, and I was lucky enough to get the Rev 2. Apparently the Rev 1, I think, had trouble with uh, dual-channeled RAM or something like that. I don't know. Either way, I believe it. Or there was a clocking issue with the original, uh, but this is the Rev 2. And uh, I just want to make sure it works, though. Like, I bought this from a guy who's a super passionate collector. I'm pretty sure this thing is fine. This chip's going to get really hot, though, so we're going to have to turn that off. Or we could attach one of these heat sinks to it. I'd rather not, though. Okay. Just save that for the video. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> but the goal for this motherboard is to put it into a machine that's going to emulate kind of like the stuff that I was using back in the early 2000s at... Uh, you know, land parties and stuff like that. Baseland, so, baseland, b -b -b baseland. <laughs> that's that's the goal. Can't sleep because I'm going to baseland. <laughs> the little Fukushima baseland rap. What was that, uh, Corey? <laughs> yeah, I was going to call him out by name. <laughs> well, no one knows who Corey is. Well, calculating time required to move the files. Why? Why wouldn't it just move them? Mm. I am not sure what's going on right now, but apparently this desktop is having some issues. So it's amazing how well things work until you fire up a live stream and, yeah. and just immediately things is like no. I hope that video footage doesn't just disappear too. Sometimes iPhones do that. All right, so can you tuck some of that stuff over there? Yeah. Uh, I presume I don't need to take the PC with me as we're going to film the final video on it here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, put this but, with it because that's supposed to have gone back. Actually, I'll it. just I turned it off, so I'll just put that in it right now. Okay. Well, I'd like to get this XP stuff set up too. Sure. So, what do you need? Uh, can you plug in this power supply for me? Sure thing, Chief. Yep. And. Okay, power supply is plugged in. This should go here. Now, this power supply came out of a computer that, if I remember correctly, would not turn on, so I'm really hoping it works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this board does, because the guy I bought it from tested it for me. But let's just see. Here. Uh, do you want to just record on my iPhone? Uh, no, because you know what, it'll... It's just easier for me to keep track of everything this way. Yeah. Uh, 
What do we have here? Floppy. Don't copy that floppy. Ooh. All right, I'm just going to put you back to the main screen for now. Okay. While we uh, don't have anything here. I have an Athlon CPU motherboard I bought solely for its Voodoo 5 GPU. Its CPU is burned up. Damn, son. Oh, dang it. Gull dang it. Okay. This yeah. is, uh, yeah. On this board, we have our lovely IDE cable. Whoop. And an IDE space. IDE, it stands for I don't even. Boom. Only the highest end fun here at Canadian Computer Collector. Okay, uh, and then lastly, he passed me the... Oh, goodness. Does this even have onboard video? Uh, no. Okay. AMD, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, right here, VGA. That's what most VGAs look like on the back, isn't it? No. Look, that's a VGA cable. That's right, there's one right there. Uh, okay, never mind. That is a male VGA. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What the actual crap? Uh, I got a bunch of random cards here. Let's have a look at some of these. Well, I had a 9600 XT in my board that was like this, and I upgraded to an X800. Oh, I should have a 9600 XT, actually. Yeah, 96... Oh, this is AGP, right? Uh, I think it's both. Really? I'm going to look up a 8V Deluxe right now. Which one? Uh, 9600, I think. This is it. Alright, let's talk about some features. Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. This is a, a 9600 XT all in wonder, I think. Because it has quite a bit of, oh, it's just an XT. Uh, it's a 128 meg card, but it has quite a bit of um, I/O that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 8x AGP. I don't think it's PCI Express. Uh, Alright, we're gonna do this. On the edge. Okay. Card is in. Adapter on the back is in. Uh, do you have the um, display cable there? One second. Why is it not doing tech search on the page? Which display cable do you need? Uh, the blue one. <laughs> the VGA? Yeah, VGA. Uh, it's wrapped around a monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's wrapped around this. Oh, no, that's not the one we need. There would have been one that came off of the monitor we've been using. Is there not? No, it's not. Hey. Sorry, mate. Well, I know what's going on, but in the meantime, let's talk about what we got on this motherboard. Uh, we can use DDR RAM for double the data rate. <laughs> and uh, chuck this into the monitor. Okay, then we need some to jump pins. Get your screwdriver out. And. Uh, Okay. Uh, is that power supply on? Do you know? Uh, which one is on? Is it the O or the I? Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Let's try the I. Oh, it was like halfway between the two of them. So. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, do you see any lights on the board? Pick a lane, freak. Yeah, here we got a light on. Okay. Maybe one of these. I can just look it up. Oh, here's reset. 
power switch and we'll use one of these. Alright, I got some thought. Alright. There we go. Hell yeah. That's quite the noise. Alright, I'll see you uh later. Oh yeah, later, man. Are we getting any video from this? Mysteries abound, folks. I might not have been in quite as good as it. All right, try it again. <laughs> Stuck here. All right. Come on, baby. I wouldn't forget when I put them down. Oh no. Took a hat. I mean, sorry. Took uh, a Oh no. It's a cold day in Canada. Leads and gens. Let's see, where are we? Dave says, I've been here the whole time. I was driving, so I couldn't chat. Oh, Garth, yeah, the picture on the iMac. You know, unfortunately, I think we killed it. I'm not sure how, but I think it is entirely dead at this point. All right, I drew a perfectly good replacement. Yeah, Stace did a great job, but I do think it's dead. Man, we are getting nothing from this thing. Nothing at all. That is a shame. <clears throat> I hope that's not the 9600. Well, let's try a different card. Let's see if we have something else. I want to make sure this one chip's not getting too hot because we don't have a heat sink on it. That's yeah, fine. It's all good, everybody. Man, I gotta drop a deuce like nobody's business. I may have to take a quick break here. All right. This baby out. Yeah, I'm not sure how much time's left on this deuce clock here. Hang on. I may have to run to the bathroom. Oh god, yeah. Wait, what? We'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a power supply thing, Garth. Um, whenever we press a button, it sounds like it's trying to fire up the um, uh, the disk drive, but then just nothing happens. So I think we probably, on some level, put her out to pasture. 
this card might work for what we're trying to do, so let's give it a try. Okay. Actually, now that Stace isn't here, I'm going to move ooh, a couple things. So our show can be a little more inclusive. Uh, there we go. So this ridiculous PC is now at my feet. We can aim that monitor like that. Uh, we still have to throw that over the edge in its own right. But let's pull her down a bit. Much like my pants when I just went to the washroom. Uh, USB into the back for mouse and keyboard. And, oh, I keep bumping into this. Our second camera is doing what right now? Let's have a look. Let's throw it in the mix. Dun -dun -dun -dun. All right. Time to, once more, plug in this monitor and jump some pins. Okay, Garth, what are you working on right now? You know what? I love watching and following your projects, Garth, because you just seem to have all of the knowledge. And I, I respect that so much, and I envy it. And I hope to one day be like you. There we go. We are booting. All right, we got four viewers now. Not bad. Not quite where we were previously, but not bad at all. All right, are we outputting any sort of video at all in this? Man, oh man. Obviously our cooler's alive. Our board is alive. We're not getting anything from these video cards though, hey? I wonder if we need to go simpler still. Okay. I'm gonna power that off. We're gonna try another video card. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Alright. What is left? So the 9600 XT output nothing, which is this one right here. These are the accessories. And this little guy, which is tell you in a sec hopefully what are we dealing with here this is an ATI <laughs> no idea um, just got a little rust and quite a cooler quite a cool cooler if you ask me um, can we back this one out a bit get a look at everything yeah maybe all right Oh, your CPU is dead, hey? Oh, I really hope not. Although, I don't think these are terribly difficult CPUs to acquire anymore. Uh, these are some very basic, generic graphics cards right here. Um, I don't even think they have names on them. This is a Matrox. They're both Matrox, or I guess Matrix. Uh, but let's give this one a try. This one's a double VGA. The other one's VGA DVI. Yeah, something happened when we plugged that in. Or that could have just been serendipitous. Let's give her a try, folks. This is the board that we really want to use for this XP build. So I'm really hoping that we can make some magic happen here. Come on, baby. I hope it's not just a source thing. Let's just make sure. Yeah, I don't think so. What on earth is doing this? Hmm. Well, it can't be every single card, you know what I mean? Like, at a certain point, the problem isn't the video cards. So, we're going to have to kill that power again. 
There's a second out on this one. Maybe we'll try that. Gotta try everything, folks. Gotta cross the T's, dot the I's. Mama Ria, Mama Mia Pizza Pies. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're booting again. Come on, girl. I think we're having the same issue again, which is not a surprise. Yep. Okay. Um, let's try another one. Although I think we are running out of options here. What was this? This is way too old, for sure. Yeah, this is a Rage Pro. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's disappointing. It's the fifty-seven seventy that needs work. All right. Card comes out. How can I do this? Um, oh, we have one more. One more. I was wrong. Okay. Last card. Final attempt. Here we go! Bring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Uh! Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're doing it here. I'm going to make sure none of these cards needed additional power. Especially this guy. No, you know, that is disappointing. Yeah, I wonder if it is CPU, Garth. Uh, just based on what you're saying there, because... Like, the board itself seems fine. Uh, you know, I'm wondering if, like, I should just at least reseat some of the RAM and try that, or... I don't have a speaker hooked up. That's a good idea, though. Let me see what I can grab. All right, so we'll throw these headphones in. Okay. Boop. Uh, and... Just for interest sake, let's pop this all out. Okay. What is making that so hard? Okay. Ram goes in. There we go. That really, <laughs> really did not want to go. That was fine. That went in with some convincing. And there we go. Okay. Let's give it a try. Air beeps. Let me know if 
There are errors in the streets. That was weird. There we go. Okay. So far, no beeps. And no, no video either. Hmm. <laughs> I might have to order myself a new 64 chip. I can get a 3200 in that case. Yeah, we're not getting any love here at all. Like, nothing at all. Okay. Let's try the uh, the RAM thing there, Garth. Boy, that one stick is just, like, stuck. Alright. RAM is out. And video. Okay. go. No power. Yeah, I'm not getting any beeps at all. I think uh, maybe the headphones aren't working or something. No beeps. No beeps. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm wondering if maybe Garth is onto something here by saying that perhaps the uh, CPU is dead. Because... I, like, we're getting nothing here. I mean, we got power coming on the board, for sure. Obviously, there's power to the fan for the cooler. Um, but no beeps, no, no video, no matter what. And we tried four different video cards. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, oh, PC Secret on the system, not onboard sound. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I have the proper equipment to set that up. Uh, do I have a PC case with a speaker? Maybe? Sorry, gang. Let's just have a look around here. Hmm. What the heck am I going to do here? Okay, so this is the case that I want to use. My beautiful Chief Tech and Tech Dragon case. Well, oh, I look like Humpty Dumpty right now in this shot. Uh, oh. What the heck? There we go. Um, get that out of the way. Is there a speaker in between front of this case? And. The chassis. Pull the window off. 
Young man, is there a speaker in here? I said, young man. Uh, yep, let's slide those. Uh, lovely. How does that? Okay. There's also one of these here. We're having fun, gang, in the big city. Yeah, these cases are pretty cool, hey? Old school cool. I think that's it. Nope. Not quite. One more, I think. Oh, please, Lord, I don't want to break it. <laughs> what is holding on here? Uh, I don't think I see a speaker, though, while I'm in here, to be honest. Um, this is just front I.O. here. And then... This is just power button and lights, yeah. Yeah, there's no speaker in here. Okay. Now we have to gently put it back together. Oh my gosh. Oh! Okay, there we go. Stoked on the XP land, waiting at the dentist's office. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, we just jumped up to nine viewers. Very exciting. Right now, we are struggling because none of the video cards showed any video. Um, and I don't think it's their fault, necessarily. But there might be a CPU issue. And I'm trying to locate a speaker in a case to hook up to this board so that we can have... Uh, error beeps um, to discover if it is a CPU problem. So I'm on the hunt right now, and I apologize in advance that this might not be as exciting as you'd hoped. I just have to track down a speaker. Actually, this might end up being a perfect candidate to help us test because this is an Athlon machine. Uh, this is XP. Let's just see what's on this PC. All right. I'm sure this one will cooperate. It's got a little Pac Man power button on it, too. Pretty nifty! Okay. Power. And. Keyboard. Let's do it. I'll show you what I mean by the Pac Man uh, power key. Look at this thing. All right, what are we, what the heck? System hung up for an improper CPU speed setting. For optimum performance, I'm not really sure. What is going on here? Yeah, so it's a default config. Exit and save changes.
It's a pretty cool power button guard. It's got that Pac-Man vibe, you know. Pac-Man fever! Asus board? This I wonder what's in this thing, actually. This might have been worth uh, pulling out just to have a look. Oh, it's an A7V. <laughs> One step down, no big deal. Um, I'd be curious to see what hardware is in this thing. We might be able to insert system disk, disk boot failure. Oh, right, no drive. Yeah. Well, it outputs video, at least we know that. All oh, right, it's an old machine. We must kill it from the back. Okay. A sus? Yeah. You're telling me. Okay. I'm just gonna slide some of this junk. We have no room here. You know what? This is why I need a studio or like a new place with a basement or something, because man oh man. I wish I could have like a few tables going so that I could work on cars almost like lifts in a mechanics garage. Alright. That's the goal for the future at least. Flip this bad girl over. Take a look inside. Oh! Okay. <laughs> this is sick. All right. Well, let's have a look. This is way cooler. Way cooler than I could have ever expected. I did not realize there was a custom build in this case. Look at that, it's even got those rounded IDEs that I love. Alright, and lots of grills. And I think that's an A7V yeah, 600X. So this is not a bad machine at all. This is actually pretty cool. Um, and we could use this to troubleshoot for sure. What is the graphics card? Let's find out. I'll find a spot for this to coil around, maybe. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry for the temp view right now. It'll get better, though. Shabadee, shabadoo. Alright. This is what I'm done, Bo. Where's it? Screwdriver! So this board is basically the same as the one I'm using, uh, just one model down, right? So, well, it's not basically the same, but they're of similar build. This is a Rage Theater, it says Ation Radeon 8500, 64 meg card. Okay. Let's try something here. I don't even know what is on this hard drive, but let's give it a try. Corey's Computing, 15.3 gigabyte Max Tor. This might be a bit too old. Let's see if we have something better. idea what's on this but it's a Western Digital uh, caviar 1600 BB all right yeah this is a nice this is a nice machine uh, so I don't want to mess with it too much but I'm interested to at least see uh, if we've got like we can do some elimination here for the board that we're working on. And there we go. Where do we want to put this? Maybe right there. Okay. <laughs> uh, put this card back in. Who would have thunk this would have been in a beige PC case? <laughs> K 
Cutting vegetables and pinky fingers. Lovely. Okay, we be jamming. We be jamming, all right. Oh, I forgot to plug in the, the dang old VGA. Okay. Come on, give us something. A little bit of anything. Ooh. It's a healthy beep. This one obviously has a system fan. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, things are happening, gang. Windows XP. Talking about. Talking about Windows XP. Talking about. We should do a rap song about Windows XP. They call me Windows XP, and when I'm with the gang, they call me Windows X3. In the X5, talking about tempting me. I'll pull out that gap, keeps it clean on the three. What the heck is this? LimeWire launcher error. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Okay, we have a bunch of pictures apparently on this desktop, which is alarming. Why? Whose junk is this? So this is a drive that I believe a former coworker asked me to do recovery on. So I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's Jess's computer. So I'm definitely not going to, um, you know, open up her family's photos because it could be of her kids when they were young or her husband or whatever. So just out of their right to privacy, we'll leave that alone. But um, this mouse and keyboard combo aren't working at all right now. God, will anything work today? Okay, so we know that this drive is bootable, so we can lean on that a little bit we know that this graphics card works so that's the next thing we're going to do in this process of elimination so we're going to pop this card onto this board and then hopefully this will give us oh that's the wrong slot there we go whoops okay uh, we're going to need RAM. I'll just throw one in. Does it say which one is the single? Eh. Some newer boards will tell you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw them all back in and just to be safe. Switch them up a bit. Switch them up a bit. All right, let's see how the chat's doing here. Uh, woot, it's Joe. Beep, oh lord, LimeWire, what year is this? Open the photos that say not porn. <laughs> uh, family, oh no, did I just break that? Oh, shoot, I put pressure on when it wasn't fully in. Yeah, oh man. So it's not a terrible break, but a piece of plastic came off. Ah! That's frustrating. I am not happy about that. I think the RAM is fine, though. Okay, and... Yeah, that's disappointing, because I wanted this board to be nice and clean, but maybe I'll have to get another one. Well, I'll keep that next to it, but boy, is that disappointing. Okay. Uh, and just because we know that it works, pull 
this drive and this IDE. And some power. Okay, we're back in the saddle, gang. Video to the GPU. Moment of truth. I'm also really curious, actually, I'm going to boot this back up, I think, with a mouse and keyboard so I can find out what chip is in here. Because if it's a better chip than the one I have, then hey, we're, we're laughing. Okay. Oh, wait, we don't have... Oh, duh. Now. <laughs> now we're good. All right. Okay. She's firing up. GPU is spinning. Remember, this graphics card just output for us on this desktop, and we're getting nothing on this board so far. Hmm. Well, not happy about that. C'est la vie, I guess. So you know what, there's going to be some investigating that needs to happen, which I don't think I'll do live because that may just be very boring stuff uh, for y'all, but yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a few things here, one of which is uh, why <clears throat> video is not outputting from that board. I wonder if... Um, yeah, I'm going to take a look at that speaker there, Garth. Good idea. That was actually my initial plan was grab a speaker from this and run, but... <laughs> uh, let's see if I can boot this other one again. Oops. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? Okay, I suck at everything. All right. Is that the right? Yeah. Okay. And okay. And in the cage. Starcraft, anybody? Hello, Jeremy. How you doing? Okay, so we're going to quickly fire up the Pac-Man PC one more time. Which, that little portable board worked for in like the BIOS, but as soon as we hit Windows, it just didn't do anything. Which is weird. Do I have something handy? Uh, yes. Okay, ancient IBM keyboard. Though it does use USB. And let's find like a serial mouse or something. Um, Not 
cereal is too. PS2 mouse, here we go. I don't know if I have the correct version of Windows, my lord. This is just the hard drive that I found and plugged in. We're doing it again. Here we go. Thermal take. Fire up. plug the video back in? Again, I did not. <laughs> there we go. We'd be booting. Oh yeah, we'd be booting. <laughs> Vladimir Booten? Cancel, cancel. Run. D X D I A G. Okay, maybe there's a, a USB problem. Um, that means I need a PS2 keyboard too. I just took one to my dad's place, so it's annoying. LOL. Uh, okay. Just exit out Windows Live Messenger. Or no, wait. Now the mouse isn't working? What is happening? Okay. Why did the mouse stop working when I unplugged this? What is going on? I still can't type anything. Huh. It's not frozen either. That's really weird. I don't know what's going on. Why is it not working all of a sudden? Hmm. I wonder if it's just compatibility and stuff because this computer was clearly built with a different drive and Windows installed than the one that's on this drive. Well, that's fun. Unfortunately, we're not really making much progress here. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna unplug this hard drive and just see if we can get at the speaker on this machine. If not, I don't know. We'll probably end up calling it for the day because there's a bunch of stuff that I'll have to do off camera. How's this front? I don't remove, looks like screws. <laughs> oh, here's the speaker, okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, okay. It's the bottom right. I bet you it's not far off on this board. Boy, this is some ghetto testing right here. should reach the equivalent of where are we this oh shit yeah all right where did this end up uh, panel panel okay 
Yeah. I think this is it. Speaker. That was on top. That's a panel. It's a four prong. Went on four. Okay. Let's try it. I think that's right. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, it's bottom corner. I put it on the top of, like, where, because it was at the, it was in the bottom right corner on the top row of pins. So that's where I just threw it this time. I think that's the same as what was there. Okay. Forward GPU. Bloody blue. Oh wait, 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 wait. We were gonna do this without any RAM even in place. because we want to generate the beeps. Whew. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. So, power. On. Speaker should be in place. Yeah, didn't get any beeps. So let's try the bottom set. Still not getting anything. That's such a weird thing. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's really odd. I'm going to have to do a lot more testing, I think. You know, as Garth said, unfortunately, this all happened on live stream, but I'm not even getting speaker noise. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty certain it's supposed to be these top orange four pins. I'll try it the other way. Make sure we'll do it twice. Okay, let me try and uh, move this over a bit. Yeah, Jeremy, we're working on an Asus A8V Deluxe. It should be a great board, but just not getting it to output any video for anything. Oh my gosh. This is giving me a hard time, too. Anything like that. Oh my goodness. Come on. Ah. <laughs> oh my, high quality content today. There we go, that's stuck at least. So that's not doing anything. Um, and then I was going to flip this around one more time just to be sure.
Yeah, nothing. Hmm. Well, gang, I'm not sure really what I'm going to have to do right now. Oh, no PRAM. Good point. Um, I think I might have some offhand. Let's just see. This guy uses a 512. That wouldn't be a 2032, eh? It's probably the same as this board, so I'm just going to borrow this one. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, we're still not getting any speaker noise. Hmm. Well, this is just going to have to go on to the uh, another day file, I think. It's because we've tried a whole bunch of different stuff here, and the basic, the basics we were hoping for were a board that displayed so that I could start testing some of the other hardware, but we're not quite there yet. So, anywho... <clears throat> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think we're going to call it there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, you know, not every live stream is going to have a fruitful ending, but there. Are, this was more of one to uh, tie up some loose ends and uh, at least test out some hardware. I, I know now that I may have a dead board or a dead CPU. So, something to think about. Uh, and then we found this really cool thermal take everything gaming machine, so... <laughs> with a very similar board to the one we're trying to work with. So something to look at and uh, and help with the troubleshooting. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm taking off. I'm the Canadian Computer Collector. And next week we'll have an edited video for you, certainly uh, by that point in time. So take care. Have a great weekend.